hit file, new, and then hit the rightmost button to make an animation. There's a lot of settings here. For now, let's just go 1280 by 720 and have a frame rate of 12. Hit OK, and then here's your canvas. You'll see a rectangle here, and this is your export frame. For now, just draw inside of the frame, and there are reasons for drawing outside, but we won't go over them in this tutorial. Hit Window, Timeline, and then this will show you the frames. So right now, we have a single animation cell that lasts 8 frames, and we can shorten it by clicking the rightmost part and dragging it inwards. You can also do the left part and click in the middle to be able to drag the frame around. So let's just set it at the beginning, uh, click outside of the frame, and then hit New Animation Cell. Let's shorten this one to two frames too. And you'll see on the right side that the animation cells are stored inside of the animation folder. You can click on the layers to switch between the cells. For number two, let's just do an oval. And then you can see that there are two frames here now. So uh, the blue lines here are the length of the animation. So let's just make it shorter and then hit play. So we can see our animation is already working. However, if you want to work on multiple layers per cell, uh, let's right click, create folder and insert layer. And you'll see that the folder has the same name as the layer. So the timeline reads that as the same thing. You'll hit new layer um, and make some simple line art for our ball. And then do the same thing for layer two. Okay, you'll see it's working. Uh, we'll make one more cell, and you'll see that on the right over here, it already automatically made it into a folder. That's because it automatically gets the information from the last frames and then uses that over here. We'll click this double square icon, and that'll show onion skin, so we can see the previous frames and be able to animate based off that. Let's just make a diagonal oval. And you can see the animation is working. If you want to repeat frames, you can right click over here and then hit whatever frame you want to use. Uh, sometimes the cells will get merged like this. I don't really get how that works. So just click outside of the frame and just make it over here. That way we can avoid them getting messed up. So we'll make frames 2 and 1, so that it goes 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So you'll also see that if I edit 2, then it will edit it on every single instance of 2 in the timeline. And that's the gist. Hit File, Export Animation, and then Movie if you want to export it as an animation. And you can also export as Image Sequence if you want separate PNGs for every single frame. Or Animated GIF if you just want a GIF. Oh, and if you want a separate animated element, all you have to do is make a new animation folder. So for example, let's say I want a moving background. Let's put that underneath the ball. And then this will last only two frames. Then we can see that it's animated differently from the ball but we can keep it separate because it's in a separate animation folder. If you want to change the settings in the animation, you can just hit the animation tab over here and then change the frame rate, for example, in timeline, and that can make the animation even faster. All right, that's the basics for making an animation in Clip Studio Paint Pro. If you want more details, check out other tutorials that are more in depth, but hopefully this should give you a good start. Thank you very much for watching.